Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of IX Cape Town TV for 2015. I'm your host Chanel Pulsa and in today's episode we catch up with players like Egan Dolly, Noah Sadoe and Jody February and they tell us more about their road to recovery. We're also at Cape Town Stadium as you can see and we catch up some of the highlights where IX Cape Town takes on Wolfsburg and we also get an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with Brandon Peterson. Guys, please sit back, relax and enjoy the first episode of IX Cape Town TV for 2015. Well, I got in, I dislocated my knee against Mamelodi Sundowns in 15 minutes. Basically, I came out for a ball and Anthony Lafour, he didn't see me. And by the time he saw me, he tried to change direction, but then he slipped. And my right leg got stuck underneath him. And it dislocated, went back and inwards. And it basically ripped off all my ligaments in my knee. Well, everyone knows me as a positive person, and I believe everything happens for a reason. So I don't think it's use, any use or to sulk and to say, uh, why me? You're going to have that questions, but I always try to stay positive and look forward and just like now looking forward to the rehab and getting back to the field, back on the field. He said it was his first time in doing knee surgeries that he's I've seen such a big like everything is torn in my knee and but he says it was a success. And the physio says um, our doctor Jeruni checked it out. He said he's quite happy with my progress because I'm healing very quick. Well the physio says I've come very far because I can bend my knee, not by myself, but with the help, with their help, I can bend my knee about 90 degrees already. And it's only my fourth, fifth day of bending my knee of my therapy. So yeah, I think it's, it's going well. And hopefully I'll be back in the field soon. The doctor said, the doctor said it's before, tra before I can train again, it will probably be like nine months. And to play again, it will be like 12 to 18, but I feel it's going to be much shorter because I can feel my knees recovering very quick. Don't have much pain or anything, so I can't tell you a particular time or anything, but I feel that it will be quicker because my, my knee is healing very quick. It's been good. They're always trying to motivate me and tell me to stay strong. and. Yeah, and Bruce, the chaplain, is always messaging me and talking to me and trying to keep me, keep my head up. And but, like you know, I'm not a person to sulk about anything or so. And I just try to stay strong. And my family is supporting me. My girlfriend, they do every step of the way. They're helping me with my rehab and stuff at home. So, yeah, I'm staying positive. Jody February for me is is a good goalkeeper. It's, promising. I've been in the Vodacom with him, trained with him a lot and worked with him and I think he yeah, has a bright future. Firstly, I just want to thank the doctor for doing such a good job on my knee <laughs> and I want to thank the supporters and my friends and family for all the encouraging messages and for supporting me. And I want to thank my girlfriend, she's there with me every day and she's helping me with my knees, she's always worried and concerned about me. And my mother and father for helping me, stuff, and the coaches, they're always talking to me and asking me, so I just want to thank them and I want to tell them to keep motivating me and soon I'll be back on the field. Yeah. I think I'm getting there, although sometimes when I run it hurts but they've given me a program to work on my own, so I'm just trying to get my fitness back. But I'm training with the team and everything's looking good so far. I think it helped me a lot because I got the chance to work at home. You know, um, they gave me a program so I could do stuff on my own to keep the level of fitness still going. And when I came back, I saw I'm not far off, so it helped a lot. There's still a lot of work to do. I think still fitness-wise, I still need to work hard. But other than that, I think all is going well. I'm seeing the doctor on Friday, and then you'll decide on what's happening further. 
I'll, I think I'll be ready when our first game starts again. So we're just seeing on how my level of fitness is. I still have a lot to give back to Ajax Cape Town as they gave, they gave me the, the, the platform to start my career. So this last few months I'm going to give it my all and try to um, contribute towards the team. Dominic Isaacs is back with the team. Noah Sadao is also back so it looks good for the team. It was very frustrating for me because uh, it was at a point where I was starting to play and uh, it was the game, it was practice after uh, the Pirates game. It was the, the day before Amazulu game and I just sprained my ankle and then uh, one of my teammates fell on top of me so it was, even made it worse. Um, but it's definitely obviously um, very frustrating for me. Uh, I think it's going well, uh, still a bit sore. Uh, sometimes when I move side to side, like sharp turns, it hurts, but uh, just staying positive and hopefully we'll get better soon. Uh, it's good, obviously I miss playing uh, and it was good to have a little bit of rest, So, uh, but it's good now. But yeah, um, obviously it was, I haven't played for a very long time when I came here and when I got my chance I just did the best I can, just work hard and things worked out for me. Uh, I mean a few games, two, three games. I think it will be great, but uh, I already feel like I'm perfectly fine and I've been doing stuff when we were on uh, vacation, so I was, I'm good, I feel good to go. Uh, everyone came in back pretty well, like everyone didn't look so out of shape. Uh, most guys were working hard the first days and uh, it's been great. Share your thoughts uh, on the Turkish Airlines Friendship Cup? Yeah, look, a great opportunity for us to play a massive team like uh, Wolfsburg, you know, second on the Bundesliga, you know what the Bundesliga is about, you know, only second to Bayern Munich, so great opposition. I watched them train, obviously, top top level, yeah, so we're going to be tested, I think, to the limit, and uh, I just hope we can put up a good performance, measure ourselves a bit to see who we are, and uh, take it from there. And, uh, obviously, it's more than a friendly game, uh, there's a cup for grabs, but also uh, uh, preparation for the league. Yeah, I think uh, any 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 time you play against the German outfit, uh, is never friendly. I promise you that they always come out to win. They will give it their best. If they can give you ten, they will. If they can give you five or whatever, they 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 go all the way. So we're expecting a tough tough game, not just a friendly game. And obviously, there's a cup to play for. So hopefully, it will be an annual event for us and, and them, and uh, we'll continue to to receive these teams and even more. So yeah, a tough one for us, but good preparation for for the rest of the season for us. How fired up are the boys just to face the likes of Gustavo and Bentner and the likes? Yeah, I think uh, a lot of them have seen him on television, they've seen him around. I think even if it's PlayStation or Xbox, whatever it is, they've seen him. So it's a good opportunity to come up and, uh, and measure yourself against them. That's what we're hoping for. I hope that uh, if anything we're going to learn from it. 
Um, you know, sometimes you learn from good things or bad things, but I think today will be a great opportunity for us to, to measure ourselves and see where we are and learn and, and go forward from there because definitely we're going to be learning quite a bit. But not, uh, we can't be too closed up. I think we must also have a belief in our own ability and the, what we can do and the way we play. And hopefully we don't just uh, sort of hide on the field. Hopefully we will see a couple of tricks and a couple of things that we do and uh, you get a result. You never know. Thank you very much for your time, Coach. Pleasure. It's a fantastic opportunity for us. Uh, it's a cup that we are hoping to expand on. It's a, a cup that we've called the Friendship Cup to, to create relationships with the uh, overseas clubs. Um, obviously, Amsterdam is our, our sister club or our mother club. And uh, this cup has been created to create friendships with uh, more overseas clubs. So um, hopefully from this one, we'll be able to bring a lot more. And uh, with Turkish Airlines behind it, uh, it's uh, got huge potential and it gives us a, a way to measure ourselves with overseas clubs. Uh, you know, this is a friendly game. Huh? So, and this is normally, you know, everybody is relaxed and it, so everybody, so again, uh, many thanks for, for all the help we got, uh, you know, in preparing uh, our stay here and, you know, for, for the friendly games, it's, it's more relaxed. But, you know, if it's going, you know, in championship and you're, you're going for the points and for the goals, it's, uh, it's, it's a bit tougher and rougher, of course. But, but yeah, you're still in the end, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a friendly atmosphere, even in Bundesliga. showcase his skills uh, to the South African public and then uh, Vierini also a uh, promising young player looking to come through there as well. And they will be looking to exploit as the game progresses. Well, I'm expecting Ajax to come out firing on the counter and also to play wide to their strengths. And Morris finding himself in space, chance to get the cross in and uh, the German goal. Currently they, are, they seem to be quite comfortable on the ball, they, they have the ability to instantly kill the ball and the cross in. And uh, again, goalkeeper Yakula brought into the action. Well, that's going to be a feature of this game. You're going to see the, the German they're on a summer tour. So they don't want to be playing in, in those cold European conditions to keep the muscles nice and relaxed. And they don't want to go into, into the, the second half of the Bundesliga tournament with, with, with injuries to some of your key players. Uh, from the back, one of them being uh, the centre-back closer. And they instead take it short, but the opportunity to get the shot in and they have scored. Wolfsburg have hit the target. Four minutes, 20 seconds into the first half and really you have to question one or two people in the back of that defence. Again, plenty of, of room to shoot and, and you, you can't really fault the goal. I mean, they need to close down. You can't allow that much space on, on the edge of the box and, and let somebody be there. Unlikely because there are already five, six green shirts behind the ball. But uh, some space down the right side. A bit of pace. The referee says free kick and... Uh, they talk about the speed of the South African. This is uh, the earlier save by uh, Jacola, and he did very well to get both hands to it. A great cross, the great shape on the cross, the precise and accurate delivery from set pieces. We saw there earlier with the delivery on the free kick on the corner. Chance for Morris to get a cross in and uh, covering at the back by Wolfsburg, and they push the ball out. He did well, he, he shielded the ball, showed a bit of fancy footwork, and uh, the only way to stop him really was once with the arm. The man who was brought down and it looks like you know, Jokalo is the one, but he, he makes a little bit of a dummy run and the ball curled in there and a the chance for Cape Town, beautiful header and the, the delivery of that header. Once again, great delivery from Franklin Kirby, spoke about it. Unlucky, good header, hit the ball down. And they, they have the option to let it go out or cross it back in, it comes back in and that's the equaliser. And Ajax Cape Town are back in the game. Excellent cross in the good shot, uh, bending away from the keeper, the keeper. Cape Town there and uh, totally unmarked in that situation. We were talking earlier on about the quality of the German Cape Town defence, not able to, and here's a chance for the home side or the Cape side to, to break. Coming down this right side, waiting for movement, and the uh, referee decides it is a free kick, and uh, 
uh, right leg there that uh, brought down him because Arnold again, who was involved in an earlier infringement, who again uh, commits the, the sin of bringing down a player on the edge of the box. Opportunity there now for free kick to get the ball inside the box, another header. And uh, again, they find space inside that German defense. I feel that maybe that's half a chance wasted, but Ajax kept down on the break. Just coming outside, they're on, half, on the edge of the box, waiting for the run. And uh, it did come eventually from Scott. Spreads the ball wide, but did he put enough on that pass? He did, because here is the opportunity. And uh, good fight there to, to retain possession. But uh, the battle goes on. Look him as the final whistle of the first half blows and both teams Shooting off applause around the stadium, the crowd has noticeably grown. Maybe you, you started to see a little bit tightness at the end of the first half, but you know, Wolfsburg, they are, they are a great team, you know, they are second in the Bundesliga, so they they will punish you every mistake you make, and I'm sure we need to keep working hard for the on the second half. So, despite the lead, the 5 4 shots on goal and the 3 2 shots on target, although both statistics favor Wolfsburg, very little between the sides. Good powerful run, maybe opportunity to shoot, but they go wide with it and get the cross in. And this is the second goal. Celebrations and lovely cross inside. And the goalkeeper totally lost. So tell me, are you enjoying the game so far? Hi, absolutely. What a wonderful atmosphere. Some everybody's energized just to be a um, good display of, of soccer. It's nice for our country and I enjoy it really. What's your score predictions for the game? Difficult one, I would go for a draw. Two all. Who's scoring Fire X Cape Town? Um, I don't know. <laughs> not sure. Not sure. No. But thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of the game. Pleasure. You too, my thanks. Thank you for joining us, Cape Town TV. What's your thoughts on the atmosphere at Cape Town Stadium this evening? Well, the atmosphere is uh, very good tonight, but still a little bit disappointment. Uh, less Ajax supporters, more German supporters tonight, but it's a very good support tonight. It's a new year. Um, what is your New Year's resolutions for yourself and for Ajax Cape Town for 2015? For 2015, uh, for me and myself, Ajax Cape Town is uh, to win the league. To win the league. Thank you for, you. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much, Chanel. Who's your favorite player for Ice Cape Town? Um, Keegan Daly. Why? Why Keegan Daly? I like his soccer boots and he's nice and I like his mobile. It's quite nice. Nice to see some other new supporters coming through. Um, great atmosphere. Yeah, so, loving it. Your thoughts on the game so far? Yeah, I think I is playing very well at the, so far. We need to score goals at the moment. Man. I think the German looked a little bit tired at the moment. We just need to capitalize on that and score the goals at the moment. We can even get some goals away at the back. Tell me about the experience for you thus far. Well. How's the atmosphere here? Excellent, always. Always I come to Cape Town Stadium, always a great atmosphere. I like coming to Cape Town Stadium. It's always nice supporting Ajax. We win or lose Ajax all the way. Do you have any uh, message for the fans out there for them to come and support our boys? Always, I, that's my, my wish for the people to come out in, and support Ajax. When the people of Cape Town come out, support, let the stadium full, man. That's what we need. And there we had some messages from the Ajax Cape Town supporters. Such an awesome vibe, electric atmosphere. Guys, you're missing out. You need to come and support our boys at these games and events like this. So stay tuned. As they seek in front of their Cape Town fans to get back into the game. And here we go. Start of the second half. Ajax kicking. Look on Roger Dessau's face as the space found there by Dost. Really, really question marks about the quality of the Ajax defending. What it will do is to stop Ajax Cape Town from progressing. And, and close has been everywhere. I mean, we just saw him involved in a tussle now. He was breaking from, from the back there. He won the free kick. Touch. Hoping to create the opportunity. Gustavo now, who has been so deep so much of the game, now moves forward and a chance. And they've virtually walked their way into that one. But great save. Through now. Space is starting to creep in to the Ajax defense as well. Lovely ball and uh, Zhang with the first time shoot. The speed out wide. And here we see once again a chance for the finish. And that is the third goal. And was the ball played inside that box and it cuts across. And, and you know, you see two defenders, you see two red shirts there, but nobody really closing them down. And in the end, Dost just buries that one. Pass is intended to achieve. 
and, and maybe that's where you see the difference because it's not passing for the sake of passing and a beautiful run into space. Russo hasn't gone and that is the fourth goal. Uh, this is really a route, it's four goals to one. And when a player has come so deep, he's allowed so much space then, then there's really question marks about the quality of defending. Even though he's, he's, he's running under the goalkeeper uh, from Kima. German back four. And the chance to try and create something here. Can they whip that ball in, which is what is expected. But again, the defense holds firm. And Zhang and Gustavo exchanging passes there. Desar on his feet. And uh, eight seconds after the 90 minutes, the referee brings the game to a close. Excellent work by the officials. And uh, for both sides. Uh, it was a good experience. Uh, I think first half we did well. We kept our shape. Uh, but then again, we considered from uh, set pieces again. Uh, second half, we, I think we lost shape. Not that I'm playing the other guys who came in second half, but I think we lost shape when all changes were made. I think it's better. I, I know we lost, but uh, finish wise, we played better opposition. The second end of luck in, uh, in Germany. The big team, so I think uh, the guys uh, didn't do bad at all. Although we lost, I'll, I'll, I'll also say that there were two different sides. Like first half was different compared to the second half. I think we did better so, uh, first half compared to the second half. Yeah, obviously we can improve on whatever we do, but I think the team done well. Um, I think we played as a team, and especially in the first half, uh, keeping them close in the game. But um, I think afterwards we we just uh, lost it a bit, and I think it's. It's something that we can learn on and work on it in training. No, it's obviously a friendly. Um, we're going to obviously play a lot of more friendlies now to get the game fitness and the match fitness again. And then I think we'll be uh, ready by when the season starts again. And that's a wrap for the first show for Ajax Cape Town TV for 2015. Unfortunately, the Urban Warriors lost to Wolfsburg, but we surely hope you guys enjoyed the show. Until next week, same time, same place, please do join us and don't forget to catch our repeats every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. on channel 263. Until next time, over and out from Ajax Cape Town, goodbye. Yeah, everyone knows who you are.